My name is Dr. Seth Osgood and I'm the founder of Grassroots Functional Medicine. And I believe that the healing power of the human body is far beyond that of what any pharmaceutical will ever achieve. My health journey started back when I was a child. I uh, grew up in a small town in Vermont and with a family of six and five of us had digestive issues. Five of the six people in my house had you know, symptoms uh, associated with irritable bowel syndrome. My mom was the one who struggled the most and she had had problems the majority of her life and she was just like a lot of my patients who have traveled from doctor to doctor and specialist to specialist trying to figure out why they had the problems and, and how they could resolve them and she was just given the blanket answer like a lot of people receive saying that you know it was irritable bowel syndrome which just means it's something that she's gonna have to live with and she needs to keep her stress levels down and she needs to just you know rely on over-the-counter medications to keep her symptoms at bay and, and that's how we grew up I remember the intense cramping I remember the mad dashes to the bathroom I remember you know just when we'd go out on a vacation or on a trip having to map out where all the bathrooms were because it was such a problem for all of us and I remember the, you know the, all of the fights that would break out over who took the last Imodium AD you know Imodium was a hot commodity here in our house but uh, but yeah that was just what we did that was what we were used to and we thought that was gonna be our way of life but luckily my mother you know continued to seek out uh, answers later on and we were all able to re find resolution so so I actually got involved with healthcare back in high school. So I worked for the volunteer ambulance uh, in our local town and just became really passionate about helping people. So I went to school and became a paramedic and moved down to Austin where I worked as a paramedic and furthered my education. I went to nursing school, I worked in the intensive care unit and then I went back to school to get my nurse practitioner and then later my doctorate. Um, and I, you know, the reason I kept going back to school, the reason I kept furthering my education was because I, I just wasn't quite satisfied. Every step of the way, you know, although we were learning good information and helping people in the acute setting, we really weren't doing a lot to change lifestyles or change the trajectory of what they were, they were bound, how they were bound to end up. So, you know, working as a paramedic, we worked with a lot of people with chronic illness. We would just transport them back and forth to the hospital. You know, in the ICU, it, you know, we would absolutely do a lot of heroic measures and life saving measures, but most of the time, the people were in that situation for reasons that could have been completely prevented so then I decided again I was gonna go back into uh, primary care and working with 30 patients a day you know and seeing you know having only five minutes with each patient all you have time to do is hand them a prescription and and that really just wasn't the answer that was setting well with me so here I was you know after nine years of education I felt like I wasn't quite sure if this was the right path for me if this is where I where I wanted to be so luckily one day I remember it vividly I got a call from my mom who you know again who had been struggling with her chronic digestive issues and she said to me you're not gonna believe this but I started working with this doctor she practices what's called functional medicine and I have absolutely no digestive symptoms anymore and I was just blown away here I was working in a conventional setting so my first thought was well what did you take what medication did you take because I want that too and I was still having problems at that time so she said you're not gonna believe this I did not take any medication at all she actually put me on this diet and uh, we removed gluten and we removed dairy and a couple of other inflammatory foods and my symptoms just went away after a couple of weeks so I was completely taken back by that I, I you know and all of my education not once did we ever really talk about the effects that food could have on your health so it was really intriguing and of course right away I did the same type of diet and my symptoms resolved as well along with the uh, symptoms of my siblings my sisters and my brother uh, so what was just really, you know, outstanding to me is the fact that you know all of these symptoms, all of this suffering could be resolved through the power of food. And uh, here we were, you know, going through life 20 years later, and no one thought to ask us about what we were eating or how our lifestyle could influence, you know, our symptoms. 
And the ironic thing is, is my parents own a dairy farm. So here we are having sensitivities to dairy and, uh, and, my, and we're living on a farm every day of our life. So that, at that moment, things just clicked for me. Uh, you know, I, I investigated functional medicine. I started training through the Institute of Functional Medicine and got certified. I was taking up every learning opportunity that I could, reading every book that I could, and it was just common sense medicine, and, and that clicked with me and just really revived my passion for healthcare. So, just like I've done with most every step in my career, I really wanted to get a lot of experience all at once, and I was privileged enough to. Uh, run into Dr. Amy Myers at a conference uh, in Austin and I went up to her and I chatted with her and she actually hired me and uh, so I got to train with it with Dr. Amy Myers and work at her clinic for several years and the, the best thing about it was that I got to work with people from around the world. People would fly into the clinic to see us with complex you know, autoimmune conditions and digestive conditions, just chronic disease, looking for a more holistic approach to uh, achieve healing. And that's what we did and I just fell in love with it. But again, you know, at, work, I, at that point I had four beautiful babies and I knew that Austin wasn't the place where I wanted to raise them. I wanted them to uh, you know, be in an area similar to where I was when I grew up. And I also felt the need that I really wanted to spread this word of functional medicine you know, back home because a lot of people are not, were not familiar with the concept back in New England where, where I was born and raised. So we set off on a mission. We packed up everybody in the family and we moved back to the Upper Valley and, uh, and that's where I established grassroots functional medicine. I truly believe that our healthcare is in need of some significant change. Our healthcare system is absolutely phenomenal when it comes to acute care. If you are in a car accident or if you are having a heart attack or you have a, a, an acute infection, you need to be in with the doctors and the healthcare providers in a, in a conventional hospital because you're not going to get better care anywhere else. But when it comes to managing chronic disease and preventing chronic disease, that's where our system is falling short and that's where I believe functional medicine is going to take hold and really create outstanding out outcomes and we see it on a daily basis here in the clinic and really what it boils down to is just asking one simple question as opposed to asking what what diagnosis do we need to name this set of symptoms functional medicine asks why why is this person experiencing these problems why are these symptoms coming up now and looking at the body as a system and looking at lifestyle and nutrition and all of the many factors that affect our health to figure out an individualized plan for each person so functional medicine has just been a true passion for me and I I am excited to get up every each and every morning to come to work so the reason I named the company grassroots functional medicine is I honestly believe that it's the people in the community that are going to drive the movement drive those necessary changes in healthcare that lead to a reduction in chronic disease and lead to a better quality of life I have seen it every day in the clinic how effective basic common sense changes can really make on an individual and how it is so important to invest in your health now so you can reap the benefits later. So again, my name is Dr. Seth Osgood and uh, I just love what I do and if you feel like you are, would be interested in learning more about functional medicine or learning more about our practice, feel free to reach out. Thank you.